Hello and welcome to Getting Weller. And welcome also to our resident medical experts, who between them have had more hot dinners in their entire little finger than you or I have medical know-how. Now, to protect their anonymity and to prevent lawsuits from untold hundreds of deceased viewers, we've given them pseudonyms, Dr. Susan and Dr. Trevor. Hello, Dr. Susan. Nice to be here. And Dr. Trevor. Yes, isn't it lovely? Yes, indeedy. Now, this week we have a letter from Mrs. Semi-Digested of Nary Warren East, who writes, Dear Getting Weller, I am worried about my husband. He appears to be developing a disturbing habit of eating people, or more particularly, me. Uh-huh. This is what we in the medical profession call cannibalism. Really? Uh, we in the interviewing profession call it that too. The letter continues, I woke up this morning and found that he'd finished off my left foot and was starting on my calf. In fact, even as I'm writing this, he's sprinkling salt on my elbow and licking his lips. What can I do? Let's just take a step back and look at the effects of cannibalism. Usually it leads to widespread weight loss and considerable lessening of body parts. Uh -huh. Now, unfortunately, we can't have a real cannibal here in the mm. studio for legal reasons. Likewise, we can't show you a real victim of cannibalism. We can, however, show you this skeleton which we've thrown meat pies at. Is cannibalism common in today's advanced society? More than you'd imagine. Just the other day, I treated a cannibal for tooth decay after he'd eaten a few too many lollipop ladies. And what could Mrs. Semi-Digested do? Hmm, try wearing something a bit tasteless, that's a good start. Um, keep well away from the microwave and restrict your husband to three big meals a day. Most health experts agree that midnight snacks are a no-no. Exactly. Try to get him to take more of an interest in the children too. If he comes after you with utensils in hand, chuck a couple of kids at him. That should fill him up for a day or two at least. Time enough for you to find a couple of really big cow pats to roll around in. And if all that fails? Well, you know what they say, what's good for the gander is food for the goose. So as a last resort, I'd eat him. Uh, wouldn't it be better to have him locked up? What, miss out on a brilliant Sunday roast? Look, it's the most humane thing, and the leftovers make great sandwiches. Uh, thank you, Dr. Trevor and Dr. Susan. Not at all. Uh, care for some Kentucky Fried Children? Um, no, thank you. I've already eaten. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll have some. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Finger-licking good. 